Hey there, it's David from Project 42 Musicians React and Nothing Gained. We are back doing one of our originals versus covers challenge. So, uh, the difference with this one versus my normal reactions is I may have heard the songs, and in this case I certainly have, and it's more a case of comparing the tracks. So normally we pick one original, one cover. Uh, we did do a Machine Head one a while ago, and we did that as a Fatal Freeway, and I think that was... Uh, or it might have been a Metallica one, it might have been Machine Head's Battery or something like that. But it was basically we had three tracks on there. Uh, and I know Machine Head was one of the bands that was amongst it. So uh, we're doing the same again today. So we're going to be doing the Cranberries Zombie. Uh, we've got two covers. One is Breed 77 Zombie and the other is Bad Wolf Zombie. So we're going to have all three of these, one after the other. And a little bit about... so how good are the covers how good uh, were they compared to the original the original was the blueprint did they improve on it did they do something different with it uh or did they ruin the song uh but from myself we're gonna go check out the cranberries and a zombie uh i haven't heard this for quite a while actually so it'll be interesting to go back and do that let's go excuse the rabbit costume So the first thing I'm going to just say before we kick straight into, I know obviously lyrics and stuff will be coming on, but knowing the the covers, uh, you can always know the original was a lot slower, uh, but I quite like it. I, I'm not saying which one I prefer at this point in time, but it, you do notice the, the tempo change on it. <laughs> Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about vocals on this particular part of the track. So it was just something that popped into my head. If you, this is this is such an iconic track uh, that pretty much everyone knows it. It's been on so many different films. Uh, people grew up with it. It's got so so much representation. That's why it's a great track. If you'd never heard this track though, and you were just listening to the vocal things, and I was what sort of popped into my head as we were doing it, it was nowadays if you were to go on one of these like America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, uh, X Factor TV programs, you probably that her vocal probably wouldn't have got through. And what I'm feeling by that is there was some wavering in the tone, the the voice was cracking a little bit. Now this is a her iconic voice, and we, and it's something now that we couldn't imagine it being done any other way. But I think you also have to kind of then, if you were to take it out of the context, you also have to listen to that vocal line and go, do you know what, there was a little bit of a waver on the vocal line, there was a little bit of, there was just slightly off uh, on some of the tonality on that point. And obviously that little vocal crack, although it might be intentional, a lot of people don't look for that when they're for, from singers. Uh, so it's very unique in her sound. I really like it, uh, but it is something that I think we, we skip over because we, we, we think about the song so much. Uh, and the memories that the song conjures up, we don't really think about the actual lyrics. 
uh, as far as her singing voice. Yeah, sorry, more of the singing voice, not the actual lyrics itself. But let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, so that was the Cranberries and Zombie. So, as I said, I love the track anyway. Uh, a lot of nostalgia for me growing up with this particular track. But there was things like uh, the fact that on that particular track, it's very bass and drum driven. So the guitars have little accent points. They don't. There's a lot of bits over the chord, apart from like da 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 da. A little bit, the, the, the little feel going into the verses. But just again, the little chords just strumming out at the end of every four bars is very nice. Uh, and even the solo, very, very simplistic solo, but works really, really, really well. Uh, sorry, get rid of that comment. Check that out later. Uh, so, yeah, very, very cool track. But again, just listening to all of those little technical abilities, technical sort of stuff that was going on in the song. Well written, well structured, uh, and just nice and clean and simple. So, uh, right, the next one we've got. So that was the Cranberries, the original. Let's see what we've got. So the next one in is Breed 77. So I have done a reaction to this one already. Uh, we did this a while back. I know Breed 77. I got to meet the band a few years ago. Good, would say, wouldn't say good friends, but they're people I knew uh, from playing shows and so forth. So uh, great, they are a great brand on a bit of a hiatus at the moment. Uh, but we'll definitely go check them out. So let's go check out their version of a zombie. <laughs> So I like how they they've ch they've changed the concept of this particular one from being obviously the around, around the Irish fighting, 
uh, to uh, I guess they took they focused it on more Americanized. Uh, it says world, world have they done world military? So maybe yeah, the world what we spend on uh, weapons versus food. So they've they've twisted it to their own needs, I guess. So before it actually kicks in, because I don't want to pause it too much on this one. So uh, if you don't know anything about Breeze 77, they're a flamenco metal band. Uh, very, very cool. Very different to anything else you'll really kind of hear. I haven't heard much of it. I've never really heard any other bands doing kind of flamenco uh, metal. Uh, but yeah, go check out. There's plenty of other ba uh, songs they do, but very, very different to the original uh, song. But let's go check it out. Keep going. That's it. I won't pause. <laughs>
cool. So that was Breed 77 and the Zombie. So what I like about that particular track, yes, it's up-tempo, so I like the fact that it's got a different spin on it. Uh, I, obviously, they changed the words up a little bit to make it slightly different. So they talked about the same thing they've done since 2001, because that was kind of when they brought their version of it out. Uh, so they did it about sort of six, seven years after the original. Um, so I like the energy there. I like the fact that they put their own twist on the solo. They The fact they came back into the chorus. They did their own thing. So they've definitely reinterpreted the song uh, and done their own thing with it. They've not gone for a carbon copy uh, of the particular track. So hence why it's in the middle. Uh, so they have gone and done something different. They did lose a little bit of the emotion. They made it more angst-driven rather than forlorn in or emotional. Uh, which is where the original kind of sat there. It kind of had that more heartbreak on the original Cranberries one. This one was more angry, uh, challenging, I guess. So different spin. Uh, anyway, right, the f our Fatal Freeway is wouldn't be complete without Bad Wolves. And this is one I've not reacted to. Uh, I got requested to do it, but I'd already done others before, so I wanted to check this one out. Uh, at a later date so I have heard it uh, but not really listened to it more than maybe once so it'd be good to properly listen to this one all the way through uh, let's do it <laughs>
Okay, so that was Bad Wolves and Zombie. So, uh, yeah, do you know what? I really like that track as well. It, I think it really it took the essence of the original, uh, brought it all the way through to sort of 25 years later. Uh, it still had that emotional, it kept very much the tone of the original, just gave it that extra weight uh, of a, a modern metal band. Uh, had their own little solo in there, it's different to the original. Uh, so again, they just did that slight interpretation, bringing things a little bit more modern. They used the word drones. There was a few little vocal changes on there, uh, but kept it very clear, close to the original. Uh, so I liked that. So it just got, saw the musical journey between, over the 25 years. We've obviously the Breed 77 in the middle, who did their own thing completely with it. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't really tell you which is my favourite. Uh, I actually like all three of these versions. I just I don't think there needs to be a favourite one. Uh, I think both all three of them would... Re- uh, to be honest the songs are really good songs you can listen to all three and still enjoy all of them but let me know what you think in the comments down below if you like the video please subscribe click the bell icon like and share leave the comments down below and i'll see you on another video sometime very soon take care